New York City has gone to the dogs, literally. That's because of the Westminster Dog Show and Entertainment Tonight's Kelty Knight has the story. Elliot and Ruta Bay, the Westminster Dog Show is the Oscars for all of those adorable fur babies. And we're behind the scenes at Madison Square Garden to find the best in show. So for 143 years, Westminster Kennel Club has been the highlight of dog sports. It's the World Series, it's the Super Bowl. The pampering, the grooming, but no barking. These dogs are the best of the best, but what exactly does it take to be a winner? So there are 2,800 dogs all vying for best in show and whittled down to seven. Each breed has a written standard, and the judges are using that standard to judge the dogs. So if the dog's muscle tone, the dog's coat texture, their coat care. Those aspects also come into play because it is a dog show and the dogs are supposed to be presented at their very best. Individual prizes are awarded for attributes like obedience and agility, but the overall winner is crowned best in show. No cash prizes are won. It's simply for the honor of being top dog. Her name is Miranda. I named her after Mary Strips. They have a worse brother, but she's not that mean. From beagles and basenjis to poodles and pomeranians, it doesn't hurt to have a little star factor. I think she's like a royalty. She's kind of like Meghan Markle. Now, the best in show will eat their traditional winner's meal at the famous New York restaurant Sardi's. They are so lucky and they've worked hard for it. We'll have so much more on ET. I'm Kelty Knight. Back to you. They deserve it. And for more of today's Hollywood headlines, watch Entertainment Tonight at 7.30, right after CBS 4 News at 7.